Hey, how's it going? Throw down a test run, Game Boy, uh, Bionic Commando, you're here with G4T4. The Earth, Earth is peaceful for now. Okay. Until something gets fucked up, obviously. Like, rain stuff, I guess, or whatever. Oh, big explosion. Um, what else? The Dolrezi Army, Director Wiseman, has begun the raid throughout the world. This is part of his Albatross project. Our agent, Super Joe, was sent into the Dorais Dukedom by the Federal States to investigate the Albatross project, but we have lost contact with him. And I guess that's where I come in. Now the Bionic Commando and their Special Corps, the FF Corps, have been ordered to complete Super Joe's mission. Brad Spencer, the strongest commando in the FF Corps, has managed to sneak into the Dore's kingdom, dukedom, and re to rescue Super Joe, the final battle has just begun. And, okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get on top of... Oh, more dialogue. Fuck it. Chief Headquarters is contacting us. Right, as you well know, Super Joe is missing. Your mission is to sneak into the Dolores base and to rescue Super Joe. Albatross Project, our Special Forces unit has already been deployed in Area Zero. You with your mission, good luck. I went a little too fast for myself, but okay. Please instruct descend transfer. Okay. Uh, let's go. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get on top of it. Uh, information about this game. Once I okay. It was developed and published by Capcom, was released on Game Boy 3DS Virtual Console. It was released on Game Boy in uh, North America, September 1992. Bionic Commando is an action platform game released by Capcom for the Game Boy in 1992. It is an adaption of the Nintendo Entertainment System version of Bionic Commando, changing the present day setting of the NES version into a futuristic sci-fi one. Plot. A Game Boy version follows the same plot as the NES version, changing the present day setting of the NES version with a futuristic one. The player takes the role of Rad Spencer, lad in the original NES version, an agent of the FF Corps, the FF Battalion in the NES version, whose mission is to rescue his ally, Super Joe, from the Dore's army and prevent their leader, Director Wiseman, named after Wiseman, Weezman character from the Japanese Famicom game who is renamed Kilt in the NES localization from the Do-Rays Army's secret project codenamed Albatross. This version also shifts the military theme present in the original to a more sci-fi territory. The uniforms and helmets of the enemies are changed for futuristic armors and spiky hair. This version also adds a more modern cinema-like opening and ending sequences, these sequences and character drawings in the game dialogues, making the Game Boy version more story-oriented. Uh, like the any oh. Looks like there was dialogue. Yes, sir! Uh, okay. Gameplay like the NES version, the player must navigate through the overworld map to move from level to level with a transport helicopter called DX3 Turbocopter. A difference from the NES version are the player's encounters with enemy transport vehicles. While on the enemy ver NES version, these encounters featured a top-down interface. On the Game Boy version, they remained side-scrolling like the rest of the game. Okay. Alright, 
Let's go. Let's do this. How about it? Oh, I see. I did find, figure out how to uh, jump up levels and such. Should I? I want to get that. It's something I should get. I think. I guess I just have to fall down so I can jump up. Maybe not there. And... Where am I supposed to go? Uh, there we go. He's done. Dead. Peace out, bitch. You too. Goodbye. Uh, destroy them. We cannot allow them to proceed any further. So I suppose this is when I'm supposed to fuck everything up, I guess. Um. Apparently they like to drop down right on top of me, so it's like... Kind of jerk modish. And that's what pretty much ends me my run right here is that they jump down right on top of me like assholes. I don't know. Oh, I see what I should have been doing. I think I should have jumped on that central pl center platform and fucked some shit up. I guess. I think that's what it looks like. I should have jumped up there and shot that thing over on the side wall, whatever. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I didn't figure it out until now, I guess. So I'm kind of being a backseat driver on myself again. Um, nope, I die again. So, whatever. That's it. Thanks for me watching me suck. Like, subscribe. Uh, this was a test run again. And uh, whatever, whatever. I'll see you whenever that is. Bye.